Domatix. Hey, you've probably heard of the word Domatix at some point, but you're not sure what it means. Well, that's exactly what we'll be talking about in today's video, and trust me, it's not anything you'd like to miss. Home automation is acquiring an important place in society these days, and a lot of questions are being born. How did it start? Along what paths did it evolve? Where are we today? And where are we heading with it? You'll find out all these and more if you watch the video till the end. But before we begin, kindly subscribe to this channel and click on the bell like notification button so you'll never miss out on more interesting episodes like this one. What is Domatix? Wait, it's not as complex as you may think. Domatix is not a kind of mathematics, it's just another way of referring to home automation. Got it? Great. The word Domatix comes from Latin domus, meaning house, and the addition tix comes from robotics, computer science, and telematics. Simply put, Domatix is all about the techniques and technologies used to automate a home and the appliances within. Call it smart home, home automation, or whatever feels good. Domatix is characterized by the integration of technology and services to improve the quality of life. Everyone knows technology is very important in our world today. You take it out, and the standard of living comes crashing down like the walls of Jericho. How it all started. Home automation is often seen as the outdated term for what we now know as smart homes. And the reason is not far-fetched. The idea was simply for automating tasks at the end of last century. We see these devices as dumb nowadays because they add just a little value to the Domatix at home. These products were exceptional for their specific task, but that was it. The second generation of Domatix got an internet connection. And you know what that meant. A lot more amazing possibilities. We could control devices remotely and collect data using them. Believe me, the bliss that comes with sitting on a couch and controlling devices miles away has no match. Your fatigued self is saved from the stress of going back and forth to put devices to use. And if that's not sweet enough, devices were also much more capable of collecting and analyzing data, allowing you to take direct action on your insights and findings. Your heating is more efficient when your system can notice when you're away from home and automatically turn itself off. Products like this are now called smart devices, and if you use them to automate your home, you can proudly call yourself a smart homeowner. Mind you, home automation isn't any breaking news. It's been around for a very long time now. You're probably the one who's just getting to know about it. Let me show you a video from the 70s that shows one of the first intelligent houses in the world. This house was made by the French engineer Pierre Salda from Belgium, the one who's considered the pioneer of home automation. He built his smart home in 1974, and we see many of his inventions in modern smart homes. The heart of this smart home is a central computer with all kinds of buttons for various functions. Sald uses these to automate his home life. For example, by hitting a button, he can lower the shutters and switch on his robotic lawnmower from a distance. This really is the first instance of modern-day home automation. The Evolution Let's go down memory lane just a little bit. I'll be taking you through the paths along which Domatix has evolved over the years. Stay tuned. A hundred years ago, a smart home was one of the first electric home machinery. Fast forward to the 1980s, and the smart homes were samples of cybertecture, that is, cyberspace's influence on architecture, according to the National Association of Home Builders. By 2008, the number of connected devices on the planet outnumbered the amount of people. Now, there's so many advancements in home automation. We have the enabled and connected and the proactive levels, and they are all within the scope of what we're looking at in this video. At this point, you may want to get a glass of chilled wine and sip gallantly. We move. Today, the enabled home age. Take a pause and imagine a world without Google search. How easy would it be to crawl the web for answers from a secured website? As easy and pleasurable as bathing a cat, I think. Well, thanks to technology, you don't have to stress much over research and things like that. Like a basic Google search that does the web crawling for its users, current home technology is designed to provide convenience and safety to homeowners. A home refrigerator, for instance, makes life a thousand times easier, just as an expanded security system makes the home feel safer. But there's a little problem with these systems. Most of them exist in a vacuum. I mean, you can hardly find one speaking with the other. Each performs its function alone, even though they all require a high level of human involvement. That's a lot of stress, don't you think? For the 20th century, this was okay. However, as the demand for smart home technology grows, so will the need for the kind of connection available in other Internet of Things, or IoT, applications to appear in the home. 
As a matter of fact, Gartner predicts a whopping 20 billion connected things by 2020. That's nearly three times the world's population of people. For engineers, that means managing hardware protocols that properly communicate with associated software. For designers, there's a balance between quality, cost, and aesthetics, making sure the placement of antennas is quite functional and scalable. The connected home age. As search behavior evolved, so did searches. We no longer need to put in two or three keywords. Full sentences and phrases typed into URL bars yield results. Plus, virtual assistants translate full sentences of spoken queries to similar effect. That's connection. The confluence of increased hardware technology in the form of sensors, interconnects, and their corresponding devices with software, app, gateway, and cloud technology has created the right environment for the same kind of connection in a home. The ins and outs of home automation standards like Lawnworks, Enocean, Thread, Connects, and BackNet are just a few to juggle as connected home technology grows. For an application to be truly successful, it must blend sensing, wireless connectivity, and cloud connection into a single platform. Plus, that platform has to not only allow all the different things in a smart home to speak to each other, but also to speak the same, secure language. The future, predictive technology in the proactive home. Prediction is all about telling a result before it happens at all. When Google begins to tell what a question is before it's even done, that's prediction. It might interest you to know that homes go through this evolution as well. Yes, you heard that correctly. Homes could go through the evolution of prediction. Artificial intelligence and machine learning is the main gap that separates the connected home from the proactive home. Rather than merely collecting data and all, machine learning will help smart devices get insights from that data. That's a big deal, honestly. The device will not only follow programmed instructions, but it will also allow for more personal operations, all depending on the homeowner's preferences. Isn't that just amazing? I mean, your device will not simply exist to obey certain rules or orders set by a programmer somewhere. It will function in whatever capacity you want it to function and serve your own specific purposes. What's more, machines will get smarter even without human intervention, and they'll be able to adapt to changing needs over time. Check this out. What we are going to see is machines relating to humans in increasingly more human ways. Now, think of Siri for a home. Natural language processing blended with cognitive systems that enable the entire home. Why Domitix? Truth be told, no one likes stress. Even the hardworking guy that seems to be a work freak will jump at the slightest opportunity to take a break. Life will be a whole lot easier if we had machines to do every single task in the home, right? But really, home automation is not an escape route for lazy homeowners, those that just can't get their hands on the smallest of chores and do things without seeking aid. It's a means of increasing comfort, safety, and efficiency in the home. Though Domitix was originally intended for hotels, hospitals, and care homes, it is now being used in a lot of other places, including homes. This is because of its affordability and functionality improvements over the years. Intelligent devices are fast becoming more affordable, with products available for people of every budget, need, and desire. You really don't have to break the bank to enjoy the benefits of home automation. Just some bucks and you're good. Talking of improved functionality, home automation is pretty easy to install and use. Forget all of those complex installation processes you built up in your imagination. They are far from being necessary. All you need to fix up these devices is a manual, the device, and you. Of course you need you. Once connected to power, they're ready to use. Er, uh, actually some of the devices you'll find in most Domitix stories require professional installation. But that's not much of a problem. Employ the services of certified installers and they'll fix it all up. Home automation examples. Domitix is built around three pillars comfort, savings, and safety. The basic idea is to maximize the well-being of the individual in their home environment. We automate our homes to increase comfort and to ensure that the indoor climate is optimal. Some very good examples of this would be measuring the quality of air in your home and improving upon it, increasing the indoor atmosphere by programming your lighting, or automating your heating system so that it is always the right temperature. Besides comfort, home automation also provides safety for homeowners. These days, there are intelligent alarm systems you can use to ensure security and prevent burglary. They recognize intruders when they break in and make a very loud sound to call for attention. In addition, you can use smart lighting to increase safety in the home. This is how it works. You set up schedules to make it seem like you're always at home, so no one knows whether you're in or not. You can as well control the lights in your home with an app on your smartphone when you're out on vacation. That's just crazy! 
If improving the comfort and safety of your home wasn't enough, you can save some cash by making your home smart. This is possible with the help of smart sockets, energy meters, and shower heads. Some brands even offer solar panels to power connected devices, allowing you to improve your sustainability and provide further savings on energy. And boom, we've come to the end of today's video. If you've enjoyed it, hit the like button and share your thoughts with us in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and turn on the post notification for more timely updates. Bye for now.